Yeah. What you got, Kelly? We got a little peanut on. Chrissy scoped him out. She's like, look at that blue in the water. Look at him. I only see one. Is there another one with it? I think that might be the one I seen. Yeah. All right, the chunks work. The chunks did work. Chrissy saw him just cruising along these weed patches here. And then, um, Woo! She threw out some chunk valley. Oh, there's there's more with them. Yep. There's more Jim, with get them. the other jig. Kelly got a fish. Look, he's so green. He's green now. He was blue, now he's green. Hi, Kelly. Jim, you okay? Yeah. There okay. they come. Just... There they come, guys. They're coming. Okay. You see them? You see them? Yeah. All right, guys, so what I'm doing is I'm leaving my mahi in the water right now. There they are, as you can see. And that way, the other mahi that are swimming with him stick around. We got Chrissy throwing chunks. Hunter on the other rod. This one's freaking out. Eat it, eat it. I had that Kiko's jig. I had that Kiko's jig on, guys. <laughs> I get Where are they? All right, just hooked up Hunter with the Kiko's jig. He's gonna throw it out there. Hopefully we'll catch another one. Do we um, have any more chunks? Somebody, we need more chunks? Yep. We want to give you more. Here. We have All any right. more chunks. All right, I'll cut some more. Chrissy's gonna keep that mahi in the water. I'm gonna cut up some more chunks. No, way. they just came in on him. Ah! Back there. Right, don't let me drift into that boat up there. We got some stinky ones here. They're chasing them, they're not eating them. Excited on chunks. That rod that has the hook on it, and put a chunk on it, please, and just drift it behind the boat. Here's a chunk. Hopefully we'll go find some keepers, so let's keep moving. All right guys, I'm bunkering down in the center console trying to help with the wind. Um, I don't have a mic, sorry guys. But I wanna show you the ceviche I made with the yellow jack that I speared in the last video. Check it out. Secret recipe, once I spear a hogfish, I'm gonna do a hogfish catch and cook with hogfish ceviche. I do things a little bit different with my ceviche, which makes it a little bit more on the sweeter side than the limey side. But it's amazing, I love it, and we're gonna go ahead eat as a boat snack right now. Oh, we should have brought a spoon. It's a little chunky. It's a little chunkier than I normally do it. Mango is key. Mango and ceviche. 
ceviche. So good. But I also have another ingredient that I'm not going to tell you yet. Short mahi here. We're just gonna release him. Come on, little guy. Here we go. Yeah. Gotta be 20 inches to the fork. Uh, you can't squeeze the tail. It's 19, so we're gonna go ahead and release them. Thank you. See you later, little guy. See you later. Oh, look how tiny this one is. Oh man, it's, we are just catching peanuts today. He just crossed his hook, so we're gonna let. We're just gonna cut him and let him go. Yeah. All right, guys. It is super windy out here. We just went mahi fishing. We hooked up to a bunch of mahi. Um, nothing keepable. Our biggest mahi was like 19 and a half inches. They gotta be 20 inches to keep. So it started getting super rough offshore where we're mahi fishing on the seaweed patches. Um, now we're heading, we headed in probably, uh, let's see, we're mahi fishing in about 600 feet. Now we're at 165 feet. And we're gonna deep drop for some snapper. Since it's so windy guys, I'm just gonna film it. Not worry about the wind too much. I'm gonna throw some music on that video and you guys enjoy.